bullets that ended big Paul Castellano's life last night may very well have been a payoff for getting into such trouble with the feds. As the reputed head of the Crime Commission and the godfather of the Gambino family, his appearance in court every day and the preoccupation with his defense were bad for business. Experts say his associates may very well have decided Big Paul was more trouble than he was worth. We're working on the theory that there was internal strife within the family, and this may be a matter that is resolved just within that one family. We're, we're working on the theory that possibly he was considered a liability in as much as the pressure of all the cases that are being brought against him and the other families uh, made him a liability and not effective as a leader. The violent death of Paul Castellano brings back to vivid life, an old tradition in the history of this country, gangland executions. Shakespeare said of kings, uneasy lies the head that wears a crown. The same might be said of those who rise to the top of organized crime. They get there by violence, and often as not, they leave by violence. 1957, Albert Anastasia, the head of Murder Incorporated, murdered while he was having a haircut on West 59th Street. 1971, Joseph Colombo, head of the Colombo family, shot in Columbus Circle, seven years in a coma, and then he died in 1978. 1972, Joey Gallo killed in Little Italy during dinner at Umberto's Clam House. 1979, Carmine Galante, boss of the Bonanno family, killed at a restaurant in Brooklyn. And yesterday, Paul Castellano, the head of the Gambino family, the largest of them all in this country, murdered outside a restaurant on East 46th Street. In the world of organized crime, the tradition is that murders do not go unavenged. Still, traditions have a way of changing, even in the Mafia. Recent indictments and prosecutions of the mob leaders is causing an upheaval in the underworld. Yet efforts by the prosecutors to put the crime kingpins in jail are still subject to organized crime's way of doing things, their own kind of law, public murder. The ability of the mob to uh, kill people in cold blood and get away with it gives them the ability to terrorize other people. They terrorize by killing their own in public. Deadly messages from organized crime to organized crime and the rest of society. The murder of Gambino crime family boss Paul Castellano yesterday or the 1979 assassination of Cosa Nostra Don Carmine Galenti. Unsolved very public executions by an underworld that plays by their own rules and their own code of justice. The Castellano murder particularly brazen and defiant. Since Castellano was gunned down a day before, he was to resume standing trial for auto theft and murder. Organized crime had served up its own sentence.